In January 2004, a small film entitled Super Size Me premiered at the Sundance Film Festival. Super Size Me is full of copyrighted and trademark logos. So how was the production team able to make such a profitable movie without being sued? Well, maybe we're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's first define what copyright and trademark are. Merriam-Webster's Dictionary defines copyright as the exclusive legal right to produce, publish, and set matter and form as of a literary, musical, or artistic work. Trademark is defined as the distinguishing characteristic firmly associated with the person or thing. Section 107 of the Copyright Code states that for the purposes of criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, or research is not an infringement on copyright under fair use codes. In the case of Super Size Me, Morgan Spurlock made a criticism of McDonald's. However, he was very careful to only report the facts. By doing this, he is able to avoid a disparagement of trademark lawsuit. Haha. <laughs> what about all those talking heads? He had to get permission for that. Most documentarians will ask individuals to sign a written release form to avoid any kind of invasion of privacy lawsuit. For anyone walking across the screen, most documentarians will either put up a sign telling the public that they are filming, or they will simply black out their faces. If this did not happen, people could potentially sue and win in court over an invasion of privacy lawsuit. Whenever a documentarian wants to make a film, they always have to deal with these copyright and legal issues. In conclusion, today's documentarian must keep in mind the possible trademark or copyright issues he could infringe upon if he were to make a film that portrays any historical or current issue.